A fundamental part of this video will be looking at how we're carving depth and making sure that that's actually functioning when we paint. And of course, when we're talking about carving depth on a two-dimensional surface, obviously we're only doing that with color shapes because that's all we have to work with when we're doing representational painting. So really the video, video will be about creating the foundation of how you're going to arrange those color shapes so that we are moved by your painting. I know you've seen paintings that are not very carefully done with every single thing in place. They may even be slightly crudely painted and yet you're moved by them because of how beautiful the color shapes and the arrangement and design of those shapes are. So that's really what we're going to be talking about here. And what happens is when you build that foundation of thinking in terms of design, thinking in terms of composition, what happens is you start to get a consistency. You start to have a higher degree of success. And that starts to make you feel like, whoa, I'm an artist. And now I'm doing something consistently and not having that frustration of one good painting and then a dozen, of one, a dozen paintings that don't particularly work. With the landscape, The, the horizontal is a given. Even if there's a bunch of trees in the way and you can't see it, you still know it's there. You're standing on the earth, gravity's holding you down. You know the horizontal is there. In fact, what happens is you tend to have like the horizon and then there's like a group of trees and then there's another group behind that and then there's a line of clouds and then there's a field here. I mean. The horizontals are everywhere. You don't need to worry about horizontals. If we're talking about this as being valuable real estate and wanting to create drama in the picture plane, what you need to look at is how you're engaging this dimension. This one in landscape almost always takes care of itself because it's already implied. We're already standing on the earth and we know it's there. How you're going to pull our attention vertically to make use, maximum use, of the whole picture plane and bring it alive in drama. That's what I want to talk about now. We can see that these are pulling us into this spot here, that there's less information here, I'm letting it all go, and that there's big simple shapes here but they're not attracting our attention so much that we, so that we find ourselves coming in here. You can see the gradation I've got here from dark, darker to light and also from sort of duller to, to a little bit more intense color here to push the attention into the painting. So again, you can see that there's a very strong vertical here. The horizontal is here. We're pulled back with these lines here. We're pulled into the painting and brought back to this part of the painting here. And everything else is there to support it. Now, those, that's not accident. That's something I very specifically structured as an intention when I started the painting. The thing that's holding me is up in here. I like this dark shape against this and the foreground leading to it. So let's say we're taking us into something about like that. So let me put this on there. Let's just put it like that, because there's something here that I want to bring your attention to. Again, if you've got a couple of things up here, you've got this orange field and this sort of oat colored field and the trees along the top, this great big dark shape here and these two bushes here. And then there's a really nice group of colored shapes in here which I would use to pull us into the painting. So if you look at this, again, we can see the vertical that's engaging the top and the bottom. 
the horizontal, we have them here, we have it here. And there's this big dark shape here. Now what's interesting is probably the darkest part of the shape is right here. And it's enhancing these two pieces right there. Now, if my intention in terms of the road map is to get you up here, up here or into that orange field, and I have two things here, they're going to be competing. And so it's a very good example that even though you may have an idea for a painting, if you just follow what you see in nature, and this is the point of the intention and the point of having the road map, if you know you want us to go here, you don't want contrasts over here competing with it, or we'll be going, uh, or we just won't be sure what you want. There's nothing wrong with having them in there, they just have to be reduced to the point that they are interesting, they take our attention, but then release it so that we can get to the part we want. Mm -hmm.